Real quick, just going to do a video on record keeping and just a little bit about how I do it. This is a bayonet that uh, I have that I'm keeping and is growing like a weed. And about twice a month, I get a mass. The best way to tell if your animals are eating properly is just by regularly getting their mass. This is an electronic scale that I actually brought home from school. Since I'm a science teacher, I got access to a lot of cool equipment. These you can probably get for around 100 bucks. And if you're going to be breeding a lot of animals, or if you're just going to be keeping a lot of animals, it's, it's a good thing to have. It's a really easy way to keep track of whether or not your animals are eating. Otherwise, the only thing you can do is really just look and see if uh, they're pooping, which is another indication. But anyways, I just made a sheet. Uh, you know, in the 21st century, some people like to keep up with stuff electronically. I've got an iPad and I do tons of stuff on it. I have just personally found that it's much easier to keep up with stats with just good old-fashioned pen and paper. And I just keep a clipboard, keep this pen just stuck in there, and I just keep it with my animals. And about twice a month, I pull it out and pull out my scale and just run through each animal I got, even the adults and look at their masses and what's great about this is you can really look back in history so like this Ali that I have uh, the first one on this sheet you can see was 63 grams and uh, you can really see how her weight has fluctuated a lot you know she got up to 78 and then she went back down and you know now she's gotten all the way up to 116 and this is a really good way to track growth you know you don't really notice how much they're growing from day to day obviously and so a lot of times you'll look at the animal and it doesn't really look like they've grown a lot and you know my Ali she you know just looking at her I'm thinking wow she's still kinda small she's not really growing well I've got her soaking in some water she's having a little trouble shedding and you'll if you're not keeping track of their mass as it grows it, it gets real easy to lose track of how well they're growing but you know you can tell that she has almost doubled in size since since I got her so uh, anyways um, you know and I can look back on here and see different things you know here's a couple of uh, new Anna's that I had and, and you can kind of see how how uh, their growth is gone um, and etc so I just think this is a really good way to keep track of their mass it's the way that I do it it's the way I keep track of growth um, and so Anyways, I just thought I'd shoot a quick video. Haven't done one in a while. This is a really cool bayonets, pure bayonets. I'll see. I don't know if you can tell, but starting to get some good color. This hatched out in June, I believe it was, and already getting some, some good size, already up to 20 grams. I've noticed that there's an incredible amount of variation in the appetites of these Lichianus. I, I even have one hatchling that hatched back in January that is not as large as this one that hatched in June. And, you know, that one eats, eats regularly, just doesn't eat as much. This particular animal has started to absolutely clean its food dish every single time. I feed them three, four times a week. So if, if you're having an animal that, that goes off feed, that's not all that unusual or, or some slow growth. One thing you'll notice as you look back on some of my lychees, you know, this Ali got up to 78 grams, went back down to 68, uh, then went back up. Uh, this new Anna right here, when I got her, she was about 100 grams, got up to 110. I actually sold her to someone locally, and she went off feed and didn't come back on. And being the nice guy that I am, I, I decided to give them a refund, and they, they brought her back to me. And you'll notice she was 110 grams when she left me, and I got her back, and she was 85 grams. And so she lost quite a bit. And it turned out all it was is she had a clutch of eggs. Of course, she'd never been with a male, and, and they were infertile. But she laid that clutch, and then she was fine. Um, you know, and then in just, uh, you know, a, a, a couple months time, she got all the way back up to 130. So she went from 100 to 85 to 130, you know, uh, all from November to, um, you know, just in, in a few months. And so you can also look at this new Anna that I had, a similar, similar kind of situation. You know, she was about a 95 when I got her and got up to about 116 and then went back down and then jumped back up. Uh, and eventually sold her 
Um, you know, this is my male gargoyle, and he's been pretty consistent. You know, he's 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 grown slowly. Uh, you know, I have a female garg that that's really done the same thing, kind of popped up and then popped back down. Um, so anyways, this is just a great method. It's a great way of keeping track of your animals, and I recommend that you keep good records. It's also a wonderful way if you sell animals. You know, these are two animals that I've since sold, and if somebody ever has any questions about, you know, how were they eating, etc., I can go back to this and I can reference it, and uh, uh, data is a good thing. So.